signifies the day when NRA, led by President Yoweri Museveni, entered the bush and shot the first bullet in Kawamba. Tarehe Sita means uh, thank you very the much. 6th of February. One voice. That's when, Indeed, it is uh, one voice. after President Yoweri Museveni and his team disagreed with what was going on in the country, once again you are welcome to, to Kacheka Stadium to wage a liberation Today, war. We are marking which took the five years anniversary and ushered in the NRIM regime, the people's army. which, in my view, Tare has Sita. caused the fundamental change as the president we are in Imbarara, when he was being sworn in. And I've been shot waving. And therefore, Chira, there is a reason for us to celebrate. About and uh, and uh, going back into the history of this country, that we spent about 70 years under the leadership of the and and in 1962, me to when we got independence, leaders. we took we 24 right years before Bishop NRM Sheldon came in. Mwesigwa is with us here, but most welcome. in the 24 years, we have the Uganda suffered and collapsed. By the time yeah, of President Yoweri Museveni assumed to be here power, with you today. Uganda was a failed state. Shek so in the 24 Abdukari years, Mkatamba. we changed leaders. To be there was no the peace, there was no Kazi development, and the representative of the Mufti. We had over welcome. 10 presidents we are privileged in the period to have you of 24 here this years. Morning. But we had elections only Whoever twice. Arrived, I want to tell you that you are most April welcome. And we are continuing and to have rounds of entertainment as we wait for other And yet we guests. had the presidents numbering over 10, meaning that there was no democracy. People had no choice. People had no rights of choosing Ladies and gentlemen, leader. let me now so invite was reason the second division spouses President to come Seven and, and give us to an go item. To push Please to wage take a liberation on. war, which ushered in NRIM. And indeed, when you compare how Uganda moved before independence and after independence, and now under NRIM, there has been a tremendous change, there has been a tremendous transformation under NRIM, and therefore it is worth celebrating this day, Movement because it in ushered in a new change in Uganda. In when NRIM came, it announced a 10-point program, which was expanded to 15 points, but now we summarize those points into four. The four ideological pillars on which NRM stands. Number one is the patriotism. We believe that Ugandans should love their country, should love themselves, should condemn sectarianism, we should have unity despite our different ethnic backgrounds, despite our religious beliefs and other things which separate us, but we should all agree we are Ugandans and we move as Uganda. So patriotism is one of the key pillars of NRM. Now the second one, which answers your question, is pan-Africanism. We believe that Uganda should not be an island and live on its own. We recognize that other black Africans are our sisters and brothers. That is why when there is trouble in Somalia, when there is trouble in Congo, when there is trouble in South Sudan, we send our troops because we have a cardinal responsibility to be our brother's keepers because we believe in the pan-Africanism. For instance, now we are promoting trade and the business. We are now producing lots of products here in Uganda. We need markets because you can't consume whatever you produce here. That's why, for instance, we are building roads in the Congo. That is the pan-African spirit of ensuring that we create markets and open markets in the Congo because we believe the Congolese, the Sudanese, the Sobaris are our brothers and sisters. The other pillar which we believe in is democracy. We believe that Ugandans should always have a right to choose the leaders they want. That's why every five years we hold periodic elections every five years to enable Ugandans to choose the leaders that they want. From the level of president down to the level of LC1, even the Bataka groups, these community groups, People sit and choose whoever they want. 
whether they want a drunkard and they choose a drunkard, that is their right. Whether they choose the, a person with disability, that is their right because they have their freedom and right under the constitution to choose. Then lastly, we also believe and stand on the pillar of socio-economic transformation, transforming Uganda, improving the quality of life of Ugandans. And that explains why we have invested resources in the services so that we can make a transformational change in this country. Well, we appreciate the work of UPDF within the country, but also you know, protecting peace in the neighboring countries. First of all, when you say that uh, UPDF is meddling in the statutes of other countries, I think it is a requirement that when UPDF sees that there is a problem that is going to come from other countries and destabilizing the peace and security of this country, then UPDF comes in. But UPDF does not only invite itself to those other countries. UPDF is in DRC Kong, and they have a memorandum of understanding with the DRC president and his government to ensure that they work together in fighting ADF. ADF cannot be in Congo and you expect it to hit Uganda and then the two countries you think that they are going to be at peace. So for me, I think it is a matter of working with different governments to ensure that they protect and provide peace and security within the region. Once the other sea is not settled, Uganda will not settle. When you are in Somalia, don't think that when Somalia sneezes, Uganda will remain peaceful. So for Uganda being in Somalia, I think it is an important thing because they have tried to, 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 to hold, to ensure that these ISIS, the Al-Shabaab, do not come down to other parts of the country in order to control that area. I think for us, UPDF has done a great job, and that's why the people of Somalia are enjoying the peace that they have. Without UPDF, by the way, I don't think, I don't think that you, uh, Somalia can have a government. For me, we need only to support them, to give them the requirement, the budget that they have, because when Somalia is suffering, Uganda is equally suffering. So this business of saying that UPDF is mingling, is mingling, is doing all sorts of things, we need to understand the issue of peace and security within the region. And I, I think we should salute UPDF for spearheading, for championing the peace and the security within the region. Thank you. You actively participated in the struggle that ushered in this army. Yes. Uh, what does this mean, they mean to the country? I, I think it is a, a very significant occasion. It is right and the correct thing to do to remember, especially those that uh, gave the ultimate sacrifice to bring about the freedoms we are enjoying. So, you know, the, sometimes we forget very easily. And especially in a country that has had that history, it can fade away in the minds of the people and especially the young generation. Those of our age who witnessed that time or even who participated in it are very few in number. And unlike Europe, in Europe they teach their children about their history, about where they came from, so they know. In Uganda, unfortunately, I think we don't do that enough. So today is significant. It's a day of remembrance to remember those that gave their lives. And I think we should also remember the ones who continued uh, living that sense of sacrifice the children, the grandchildren, because most of these are now grandchildren, we must remember them and give them due recognition for their contribution. We, in that struggle, have always been Pan-Africanists. We have always supported uh, Africa's liberation. And 
as I said many times before in the past, we as revolutionaries have the duty, a duty to support revolutions in Africa for change. Because we all know that in Africa, the conditions are not very different from what Uganda was before. So whereas we don't want to interfere in other people's affairs, where we are called upon as a country, because we now have the capacity to help, it is right and fair that we do so. Uganda Rwangerubi, Nga <laughs> Babi Gilizaba and Masomero, no Makagabu, Nae Wano, those of I big is an Ae of Funa Akafana Ninji, Abant Eva Fukaba Fe, the Mamani Jet of the Day, Norway to Chkulu, Okubajukiza, Jet of the Day, Okujukirabo, Abawayama Obram Babwe, Okurabanti, Turin Mirembe, Ate, Gabriel Jogede. Kuru, Okuma, Octegera, Nti Abu, Abafa, Balekao, Abana, Balekao families, Batababa families, Kuru, Kravanti, Eguanga, Lijukira, Abazade Bafa, Babwe, Abafa, Fena, Tubawa, what do you call recognition? What do you call recognition in Uganda? What do you call recognition in Uganda? Uh, you don't know. Your, your Uganda is not as good as mine. Chikulu, Okulaga, Abu, Abu, our family in Nawani, Nti, Egwanga, Diona, Olidi, Egwanga, Diona, Niba Jukira, Ate, Die, Appreciate. Receive, if you will, for a turn in a boat, and there you are.